Capricorns, hello and welcome back or welcome if y'all are new here. We are going to get right into these messages, y'all. Oh my God. It's the will to live. That's what I just heard, Capricorn. The will to live. And I'm trying to figure out, I got to take my daggone bonnet off for this one. I got to figure out what what that is meaning for the Capricorn crew. Like, I'm legit taking this bonnet off because, y'all, the will to live, it's like, I got braids in. I got a little, little pink braids in. <laughs> the will to live. What is going on, Capricorn Collective? This is serious. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the energy of what we need to know or be aware of here. Um y'all smash that like button leave a comment down below just don't forget to make sure your little monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me i do love and appreciate you guys so much if y'all are new my name is jazz if y'all are not new then y'all know what's up capricorn the will to live what is going on i know we are going through these energies of transition and of change but it's like someone is it feels like someone is fighting for their life to be honest with you like i'm fighting for my life I'm fighting for my life. There's a huge change that's coming in. Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. <sighs> Surrendering to the journey. Capricorn, the fight of your life is coming. Or well, the fight of your life is here because why? Releasing of control. Letting go. Release control with traveling lightly and transformation. I can't make this shit up, literally. So you guys have um, surrendering to the journey. Release control. Allow spirit to guide you. Allow you to be guided by your, ang my, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your intuition, your higher self. Allow that to guide you. Release control. Let go. Sometimes, you know, we're too heavily in trying to mentally spiritually emotionally control the situation that it it feels like it is a fight of our life because there is a new you there's phoenix energy a new you that is emerging capricorn and spirit i know you all see this trash can we talk about this card all the freaking time traveling lightly simplify your life by throwing away letting go anything that is no longer serving you there are certain things that that its purpose has been served right so you know what that means it's time for us to relinquish control it's time for us to let go i need to like back you guys up a little bit there we go it's time to release control this transformation is a key because this is what you're feeling you're feeling this push, you're feeling this shift, Capricorn. This is what you're feeling. And it's like, I feel like the fight of my motherfucking life is coming. Yeah, the time is now, top of the deck, answering the call. I can't, I can't. Because this is exactly what's happening. This is what I'm feeling. This is literally exactly what I'm feeling. The time is now for you to push through this door, Capricorn. Answering the call, answer the call. The time is now. The fight of my life, release control, let it happen, let it flow. Do you feel stuck? Don't. Do you feel like things aren't moving? Don't, because they are. Allow yourself to move with them. And this sense of releasing control is going to be different for everybody, whether it is you're letting go of certain thought processes. This is giving me six of swords energy, letting go of certain people, places, jobs, careers, you know, whatever. It's endeavors that have continued uh, to be in your life. But at this point, it is no longer serving a purpose. Simplify. Because a fresh new way of living. And it's a, the way of living. We've been talking about this Capricorn in the previous week readings. This is who you are as a person, right? This is who you are as a person. 
that is changing, that is transforming. And Spirit is asking you to truly embrace the door that is open and walk through it. You know, sometimes we can be very nervous or scared. And if you're in that that mindset of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, you're right fucking there. The door is open. You're just having to actually step through it. This I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do energy is because you're being presented with the option or the choice to stay or to evolve or to change. And, you know, that evolution, that transformation energy is what is is always the fear factor for those right that that's always the fear factor do I stay here where it's comfortable cozy I I know what to expect I know what to do or do I branch out branch out and push myself out there and experience this new way of living now don't get me wrong don't put yourself in a financial bind an emotional bind or anything like that because you're out here trying to do something new all the time maybe that something new is just the way you go about living your life in that place how you go about your finances how you go about your relationships maybe you're not meeting somebody new. maybe it's how you interact with that person you're interacting in a new way you're answering the call because the time is now and you're simplifying your life by removing said things that no longer serve you and for a lot of you this is going to be um you know that that toxic that toxicity uh that lingers mentally that we fight against that we try to win over that tries to win over us time and time again it creates depression it creates anxiety and you know sometimes it's very hard to to overcome those energies especially when we are in communication where we're surrounded by people that are doing nothing but feeding said energy right so traveling lightly is is the tower right because the tower does what it allows us to be freed right it allows us that freedom it allows us the the let go of um institutions it, it allows us to let go of uh certain implement uh implementations that have been bestowed upon us it's it's the release of certain um beliefs and you know the shackles that we we bow down to and the shackles that we allow to to be even be present when they don't have to it's those things that we are releasing ourselves from and a lot of those things are actually invisible right they're not visible things they just show up in the physical uh basis based upon the interactions that we have with other people. Um, so understanding that what you're actually letting go of here collective is going to be the precipice of your transformation right it's going to show you you know are you actually ready because you're you're realizing that my change is happening not only like this but like this and like this and like this and you're answering that call by actually recognizing what it is for you right you, you're 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 being respectful to your higher self and to spirit by recognizing it and allowing yourself to not only embrace the transformation but recognize what the transformation is and why the transformation is occurring and where you're going and where you're coming from right because you are on this right path you're, you're on the right path but spirit says if you're if you're continuing on this path of glory of success of abundance i need you to to let go of a little bit a little bit more right and i need you to let go of a little bit more so whew, with that being said let's get some more messages here please spirit for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter signs show us what we need to see yeah downloads from source or the divine you know your spirit team look at that there's that tower moment energy your spirit team is here to guide you um so source of divine is basically what your higher power is whether it is the universe whether it is god whether it is allah what, whatever it is for you um this is your higher power all right i want you to recognize that whatever energy that you're pulling from whatever label that you want to put on it you need to surrender to the messages that are coming in here look at this mental energy and energy of passion this is air energy this is what we like to see as our sword so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and energy. This is, you know, the Ace of Swords all the way to the King of Swords. It's very much mental energy. And this passion, energy of passion, is our fire, right? Our wands, our Ace all the way up to our King. And this is our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So there is, as we can see here, there's a, a fire right a fire inside that is burning so hot that is creating this this shush 
right? And the downloads that you're receiving in order to release control is coming in both these matters, in the wands and in the mind. And it's, it's your passion, your pleasures, your endeavors, your spiritual energy, your soulful energy, um, as well as your mentality, you know, where you're going, where you're headed, simplifying your life. Alone time hermit mode. So some of you are going to have to spend time on your own or you have been. And this is a part of the separation. This is a part of the let go. Yeah, crown chakra. In order to raise this energy up, crown chakra, alone time, really, again, receiving these downloads from spirit, from source, from divine Capricorn that you need. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. dark energy yeah this is this is literally you embracing yourself amongst that lower vibrational energy and releasing letting go of it there's that shadow work yeah i'm telling you i'm telling you you guys are doing it you guys are literally freaking doing it and this is this is spirit's way of showing you you know the transformation is real it's just whether or not you know you're ready to to be activated in that manner you have the 7d you have 5d right which is the uh, spiritual your spiritual truth the bridge between humanity and spirit so basically you know that those telepathic messages and things like that and the 7d is timeless energy it's consciousness like pure soul consciousness and we have material abundance so there's manifestations that are basically uh coming into existence here down into the physical realm there's this sense of intertwining the physical and the spiritual and this is this is also the transformation that's occurring as well look at this dimension traveler deja vu you guys are moving into a new reality literally moving into a new reality here yeah This is the sacral chakra, so emotion, sex, and creativity. So this is all about your passions, your pleasures. Your sacral chakra is lit up. Your heart chakra is lit up. Look at that emotional energy. Mm -hmm. So this is you moving into a new, new timeline here, collective. All right, a new freaking timeline, and it is very emotional. It's it's having a lot to do with your um, creative side as well, your passionate side as well. All right. Hmm. We're going to just get a couple tarot cards and we're going to use them to close the message out. Please, Spirit, let's close this message out because we really didn't need this was a lot more channeling than it was um, reading. But yeah, <clears throat> show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. For the collective of Capricorn, what are the closing messages here? You have Ten of Cups, so you have happy, happy, joy, joy, energy coming through here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is ultimate happiness, ultimate bliss. This is a Nine of Cups, so you have Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, and then you have the King of Swords here. Wow, so there's a full-on truth that somebody... <sighs> The transformation is happening within this person and how they speak, right? How they speak their truth, how they come forward in the physical, what they have to say. This person is letting go, this nine of cups energy. This is letting go of anything that, again, lower vibrational energy, addictions, things like that. This person is surrendering to the journey, realizing that it is time to trans transition, right? Transition to the ten of cups from the nine. Look at this, seven of wands in reverse answering the call releasing control and allowing yourself to not be blocked off from this allowing it to come into your life right listen answering the call the card of literally answering the call capricorn i'm leaving this here i love you guys i appreciate you and i will speak to you guys in the next reading